Hello, everybody. How are you today? I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, today is Thursday, July 23rd. I'm going to wait just a few minutes. I see some more people showing up. Hello. Hello, Miss Jenna's here. Hi. My dogs are right behind this curtain and they keep whining. <laughs> They're silly. All right. I'm so excited to read a book with you today. Yes. Yes. Miss Jenna's going to talk with us while I read. She's going to learn with us. Hello, hi. Okay, so yeah, like I said, today is Thursday, July 23rd. Um, it is 1230. This is our second reading of the day. And I'm going to read a book to you that I, my dogs are barking. <laughs> I'm going to read a book to you that I used to read all of the time when I was little. And I really like it. And actually, this is part of the series that um, Miss Jenna read one of these books the other day with you, um, a book from the series. So this is called Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia. So there's the title. And there is the author, Peggy Parrish. So remember, the title is usually at the top of the page. It's the big letters. And then the author is the person that writes the book. And then this says, Pictures by Fritz Siebel. So this person is the illustrator. They drew all the pictures. All right. This one is kind of a long book. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, Miss Jenna, I love Amelia Bedelia too. So I believe this book is the first one of the series. I believe this is the first one of the series and the one Miss Jenna read to you guys was about her playing baseball. So let's go ahead and go on. And there's the title again, Amelia Bedelia. And again, and look all of the different things that she's doing. All right, here we go. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers. They drove away. Can you see him in the car? They're both in the car. Oh, and there's a dog in the back seat. And Amelia Bedelia, she's waving at them. She's gonna go in the house. Let's see what she does. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. <gasps> did you see the dog, Miss Jenna? I did too. Look, I see the note. There's the note. Good. All right, let's see what else we see on here. The picture of them. All right. Whoa, those are some big stairs. 
Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must, must be rich folks. But I must get to work. Here I stand, just looking. And me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. Oh, look how long that list is that she has to do. Yeah, and it's a big house. She has got a long list of things to do, but she said she wants to make a pie. Have you ever made a pie before? I have. I like making apple pie and pumpkin pie. All right. So, Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. Whoa. Looks like she's putting eggs in the bowl here. She's mixing it up with the mixer. She looks like she's putting some flour in the bowl here. And now she's rolling it out. Yum. Soon her pie was ready to go in the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia. That's done. Can you see some of the ingredients that she used to make the pie? Let's look. She used some eggs. What else did she use? She used some butter, some lemons. Looks like she used some flour, maybe some milk, and some salt or sugar. She used some tools to help her make the pie too. She used a bowl, a spoon, a whisk, or a mixer, and a rolling pin. Now she's gonna put it in the oven. Okay, now let's see what this list says. Amelia Bedelia read, change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. Oh, goodness, what did she do? Look at this. What is she doing? Hmm, looks like she's cutting up the towels. Yikes! There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear of such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture. But to each his own way. Yeah, Miss Jenna, I don't think that's what the lady meant either. Now, this one, she said, in her house, they undust the furniture. Do you think that's what the lady meant here? So here we go. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Hmm. What do you think she might do now? Her list said dust the furniture and she just found some dusting powder. What do you think she's gonna do? Let's find out. Well, look at that. A special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. 
Oh, Miss Jenna, you were right. She did put dust on the furniture. Oh, no. Yikes. Draw the drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. Uh, what? She's going to draw the drapes? Do you think that's what the list meant? Hmm. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. Look, she's actually drawing a picture of the drapes. Huh. Something tells me that's not what Mrs. Rogers meant. Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. She is funny, Miss Jenna. Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. I wonder what she means by that. Amelia Bedelia thought about it this a minute. She switched off the lights. Then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. What? She unscrewed the bulbs. I wonder why she's unscrewing the bulbs. Huh. She's trying really hard to help with this list. She unscrewed the bulbs and Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too. Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. Oh my goodness, what did she do with the light bulbs? It looks like she hung them out on the line. Look, with some socks. I don't think that is what she was supposed to do. Yeah, she hung it up to dry. I wonder, yeah, just like wet laundry. I wonder why, because they're not wet. I wonder why she put them outside. Oh, maybe because the list said, put out the lights. So she put them out, all the way out. <gasps> My pie! exclaimed Amelia Bedelia, and she hurried into the kitchen. Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the list. Oh, she almost forgot about her pie. It says, measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups. She filled them with rice. And Amelia Bedelia measured that rice. Look how she's measuring it. What has she got? She has a tape measure. Now, I don't think that is how you measure rice. Yeah, I don't think that's how they measure rice is with a tape measure, is it? Hmm. But that's what the list said. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. Hmm. 
she put the rice back into the container. Is that what she was supposed to do? If somebody asks you to measure out two cups of rice, do they want you to put it back once you measure it? Think about what you use when you uh, measure ingredients for a pie or something. You measure it out and then you use it. You don't put it back, but she did. She got two cups. She measured it with the tape measure. She poured it right back in that box. Hmm. Let's see what else the list says. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. Hmm. Please dress the chicken. I wonder what she's going to do. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said. That will do nicely. Huh. I wonder what she's going to do with the steak. So the list says, please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And the ice box is like the freezer or the refrigerator. And then it says, please dress the chicken. So let's see what Amelia Bedelia does because we have read that she doesn't follow these directions quite like she's supposed to. All right, Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon and Am Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the ice box. Hmm. I wonder what she what she did with the steak. <laughs> yeah, Miss Jenna, I think that she might be. I think she might be going to do that. Let's read and see. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. Oh, goodness. Look at that. What on earth is she doing to the chicken? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think Miss Jenna was right. It looks like she is putting pants on the chicken. Yikes. Do you think that's what Mrs. Rogers meant by dress the chicken? Hmm. Let's find out. <gasps> Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. <gasps> the folks are back, she said. She rushed out to meet them. Amelia Bedelia, why are all the light bulbs outside? Asked Mr. Rogers. The list just said to put the lights out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't get aired too long. Look, there are the lights. They're still hanging outside. Huh. I wonder what the Rogers are going to say about that. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. Um, I did, I did, I see. See, look, said Amelia Bedelia, and she held up her picture. There's the picture of her drawing the drapes. She held it up for her to see. Then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. 
Did I dust it well enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such nice dusting powder. Oh my goodness. That is not what Mrs. Rogers meant at all. Look, she is throwing a fit. Her arms are up in the air. Her handbag is falling. Oh, she is yelling and shouting. So I don't think that Amelia Bedelia was supposed to put all of that dust on the furniture. Oh, goodness. Let's see what she says about the other stuff. Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Oh, no. What did she do with the scissors and the towel? Looks like she made a hole right through it. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towels, she said. Uh-oh, I don't think she's very happy. Didn't I change them enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Hmm. Mr. Rogers and Mrs. Rogers do not look very happy about the holes in the towels. Mr. Oh, not Mr. This is Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers went into the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where's the rice I asked you to measure? Hmm. So she's looking for that rice. Remember I told you she measured it out, but she dumped it back in the box. I don't think that's what she was supposed to do. Well, I put it back in the container. But, but I remember it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Look, she looks pretty proud that she measured the rice. Yeah, nothing was done right, was it, Miss Jenna? But she did everything on the list that she was asked to do. Was the meat delivered? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat, just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed to the icebox. She opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh, dear, said Mrs. Rogers. Oh, my goodness. Look, she did put ribbons and lace and bows on the stake. Mm. Not quite right. The chicken. You dressed the chicken? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, and I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. B box? Exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid, and there lay the chicken. And he was just as dressed as he could be. Look at the chicken. She put clothes on the chicken and socks. Look at that. I really do not think that is what Mrs. Rogers meant when she said to dress the chicken. Yikes. Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very, very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia that she was fired. But before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good. Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. Oh, look. What did Mr. Rogers find? Oh, it looks like he found something yummy. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia happily. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. It is the lemon pie, yes! 
And they decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Lo Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his stakes with lace. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. Oh, goodness. That was such a good book. I really love that book. And so what are some of the funny things that Amelia Bedelia did in, um, in this book? She did things on the list that were asked of her, but she did it wrong. So instead of closing the drapes, she drew the drapes. So she took everything from that list and did it literally. So that means she did it word for word. And so now Mrs. Rogers knows that she needs to be more specific when she gives directions. So she needs to say, turn off the lights or close the drapes or undust the furniture to get all the dirt off. So then Amelia Bedelia can do things that she's supposed to do the right way. I really enjoyed reading this with you today, and I'm really glad that you guys joined me. So we will have another reading tomorrow. We'll have one at 1030 in the morning and 1230 in the afternoon. And then we'll see you again next week. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And thank you guys for joining us. Thanks. Bye-bye. Have a great day.